Hannah. Oh, Just... I need to talk to you. No, we said everything we need to say last night. Actually, we didn't even begin to scratch the surface. Regardless, this is not an appropriate venue to discuss Luke. This is the perfect venue to discuss Luke's latest crime. What crime has Luke committed this time? I'll get to that. First, I want to apologize. You? Really? Uh, there's something that I should have told you weeks ago, and regretfully, I didn't. It's about Anthony's murder. Murder? Uh, you said he was simply missing. How can we be certain he's dead, let alone murdered? Actually, I can be certain. All right. How? I was the one who found his bullet-riddled body in my family's boathouse. When was this? The afternoon that Luke and I were arrested, yeah. I found Anthony splayed out on the floor, dead as a doornail. I, in my shock, inadvertently picked up the murder weapon and got my fingerprints all over it, which is the first of many mistakes I made that day. Mm-hmm. Including not coming forward with this information immediately. I wanted to, but Luke insisted that I not. Why would he do that? It's not obvious. Luke killed Anthony. Luke killed Anthony. Why does that surprise you? Do you think Luke's not capable of murder? Not without a motive. He said that he knew how profoundly unhappy I was in my marriage, and he was doing it to save me. Out of the kindness of his heart. <laughs> really, isn't that a huge red flag? You know, question, why didn't you just divorce your husband? Personal reasons that are no longer relevant. Right, of course. So, Luke, being the sentimental soul that he is, offered to bump off your husband? No. No. He actually claimed that he wasn't going to kill him. He was just going to get rid of him by putting him on a slow boat to Uruguay. But what does it matter? He killed Anthony. And even after I found the body, he kept denying it. Yeah, but you believed him. I misjudged Luke. Luke led me to believe that um, he was helping me because he had feelings for me, and I was a fool to believe him because, as you and I both now know, his feelings lie elsewhere. What a tale. It's the truth. Yeah, without any corroborating evidence, it's just a story, one that you could be telling to deflect blame. Excuse me? It could just as easily have happened the other way around, you know, that you did, in fact, pull the trigger, and Luke is trying to cover it up. Oh, I don't believe this. If I actually killed Anthony, why would I come forward when it could implicate me? I don't know. I can't speculate as to your motives, but your story would be a lot more convincing if you could tell me where the body is. Well, I guess you're just going to have to ask Luke about that. Or whichever one of his cronies he got to dispose of the body. Not only did Luke kill Anthony, he also recruited some mysterious third party to dispose of the body. Is that what I mean? He hearing? must have, yes, because Luke and I only moved the body once, and that was so Detective Padilla wouldn't catch us with it. Run that by me again. Luke and I carted Anthony Zakara's dead body up to the terrace outside the main house. We put a hat on him, glasses, gave him a drink so we could pass him off as dead drunk instead of just dead. Why would Luke go to the trouble of doing that if he was going to get rid of the body anyway? I, I don't know. No. Maybe his minions were running late. Maybe he didn't expect me to find the body. Who cares? What matters is that Luke and I went into the house for a couple of minutes, we came back out, and when we came back out, that body was gone, and I've never seen it since. Just gets, just gets better and better, doesn't it? You think I don't know how ridiculous this sounds? You can't make this stuff up. Yeah, you could, if you're trying to pin the crime on Luke. Oh, you think I'm the woman scorned? You think that I'm doing all this to punish Luke for choosing you over me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You are so welcome to him. I am too good for a man that does not have the courage to face me and tell me he doesn't want me. He didn't speak to you last night? No, I never heard from Luke. And I assumed it was because he wanted to squeeze every second out of his evening with you. Ah, uh, we didn't. We didn't have a special evening. He never showed up. 
and I don't know what happened to him. Luke not only stood up the woman he doesn't want, but he also stood up the woman he does want? Oh, it seems so, yeah. I, I mean, I, you know, I said to him that I didn't want to see him until he spoke to you, and since he wasn't able to do that. No. <laughs> I think Luke did a little cost-benefit analysis. Cost-benefit. Anna, Luke is nothing if not mercenary. He can only allow his heart to get in the way of his bank account for a limited amount of time. You are a woman of international mystery, and I am a woman of means. So he asked himself the question, is it worth upsetting Spanky to be with Slim? And clearly the answer to that question was, he doesn't care enough about you to bother. Commissioner, am I under arrest? I don't know. Just don't leave town. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. I want a front row seat for when you arrest Luke. He swore he didn't kill Anthony. This from the man who swore he was going to man up and face me. So much for his word. You know what? I think you should consider yourself lucky. Actually, you and I both dodged Luke's bullet. Something he, Anthony Zakara couldn't do.